out where the bank is. Welcome to Save It for the Podcast, episode one. And then you're done. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> We're here with What's another on, one guys? as the Banky Tribe. Welcome to Save It for the Podcast, episode one. We need okay, let me hear you start it off. Let me hear you start it off. Intro it. This wasn't in the plan. There's no plan. Intro it. Hit it. There's no plan, buddy. Save it for the podcast episode one out of like five million. Okay. No, um, no I'm probably not using. We that don't else. have this. <laughs> <more than one. laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Make sure to like and subscribe because we're starting it off right now. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Why are we starting off? Yeah, what are we starting off? You almost broke your neck trying to get those eyes to swirl around. <laughs> <laughs> they swirled around, right? I got it. Go Barely. On. Yeah, good. That's all I needed. I just needed one loop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. By the way, you better not make me start it every time because I won't. No, I think you're good at it. What were you saying, Prudence? You forgot our name. Okay, let's go around the room. No, no, our name is Chris. We don't need to go around the room. Yeah, we should go around the room. We should, yeah, we, we should gotta go around the room. Okay, yeah. We should go around the room. My name is Chris Banky. I'm the boss of this here situation. This herd of cats. Uh, I'm Owen. Official. No. What's your title? Uh, he's forget thinking about, about it this time. The Magnificent. Come here. Owen the Magnificent. Get up and, and then Boy, he's upgraded from Owen Official, hey, guys. Right, I'm, I'm Magnificent. Yeah, exactly. I'm Prudence. It actually means wisdom. Did you know that? No. She yes. just dropped That's a truth bomb. Problem. I the meaning of that, your title. <laughs> Everybody's picking their stuff. Oh, Mercedes. I'm Mercedes, the Duchess. The Duchess. Place. Let's go. Let's go. And. My lord. Sawyer Deluxe. We're going with deluxe this I time. Like no, it the title needs to be. No, it doesn't. It cha- it come on. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna come right? up with a new one every yeah, episode. Oh, okay, right? Lordship, Lordship, Lordship is only one. so magnificent. The first. What about you, Buckley? Buckley, what's your title? I need to come up with a new one now. Can we get like um? We need to get like a chip one of these days and a get chip. a Buckley mic and just get the. We need to get his size Sounds. of the desperation. Yeah, we'll get a treat dude, here. that dog size. And he has the he has full ray issue. of emotion. He's got puppet eyes. He has eyebrows that move around with his eyes. It's a special for yeah. dogs. Their eyebrows moving. Buckley. <laughs> Dude, you've made him break <laughs> eye contact. He's he's worried about stuff. He does not trust you guys that you have his best interest at heart. Well, he should. <sighs> All right. Well, let's kick this thing off. Let's kick this thing off. So, um. First thing we got to do is a competition. So the competition is for the two dollars right here on the table. Actually, so, you already gave those to Mom. No, but I'm gonna give her right. new one. I'll just raid his wallet later. Uh, I'll upgrade with a zero. Bro, she just dropped a bomb. <laughs> <You> just... <laughs> I'll upgrade with a zero. Mom, literally, okay, that is gonna 20. take a two hundred percent. This score is Vente. two zero 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 zero. I always win. You don't count. You're not. You're not. <laughs> Put over there so that Owen official doesn't go. It's Owen not Owen official. It's Sawyer. Owen magnificent. Sawyer. What? Taskmaster. Dun, dun, dun. Uh-oh, Tiger. The, the Taskmaster task spotted me. What is wrong with you, Clubs? Who knows what that is? Let's continue. It's from Spider-Man. He knows. I'm impressed. He knows. <laughs> he knows. How is he gonna know? How is he gonna know? Okay. So the, we're gonna go after this. Um, let's pull up the trivia. Let's pull up the trivia. Okay, uh, here we go. These trivias are about geography, which is the only U.S. state to begin with the letter P. Pennsylvania. Dude. P. Yep, you win it. I did. One, I one, two, of course, zero, it's zero. It popped right in my head, and I just didn't answer. For Buckley, me. I didn't know that actually. With, I just that was he the whispered one I the think answer of the to thing. Owen the Magnificent. No, he didn't. Um, what's the world's biggest island? Hawaii. Oh, sorry, Australia. Oh wait, no, that's not an island. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> okay. does that count as an island? No, it's a continent. Go. That's a continent. Oh, I'm just thinking like you're by yourself. Madagascar. Ooh, Madagascar is a good one. Except for he already guessed Hawaii, um, so I'm saying Madagascar. No, that's not. It's not set in stone. 
<laughs> Treasure Island? Mom, you absolute you, doofus. Is Treasure Island even a place no, anywhere? It's a crappy hotel I know it's in a Vegas. crappy book, but it could be a Go place. ahead. Mercedes. Madagascar? Madagascar. No, that's my answer. No, Not you anymore. You guys, you guys, that's so dumb. That's a. Okay, I'm vetoing that right now. Dad, You're allowed to change your answer. In. Pick something different. You have to pick something different? That's dumb. I don't know. Okay, go. Oh, go. No, you don't have to pick something different. Hit it. What's your guess? Not an NASCAR. Okay. Uh, or Greenland. Is that a, That's not a continent, though, is it? None of you got it right. The I answer do. is Greenland. Oh! Oh my! Wait, wait God. I said that before. You said that we didn't get no, it right. That can't change long. your answer. You started with Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, and then I said no. It can't be Madagascar. <laughs> it has to be Greenland. We'll go around and vote. Does he get the point? No. Yeah. I changed it before yeah. he said so you were, yeah, we were wrong. I don't want to hear him whining. Give him. Okay, Whoa. so you get the point. Okay, Owen gets the point. Uh, what it's is now the world's two, two, zero, longest zero. river? The world's two. longest the river. Nile. Nile. Longest river. Or where is it located? Actually, no. No, no clues. <laughs> <laughs> the Amazon. Ah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't the know. The Amazon is. It floats all the packages down. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Likes the storks and the babies. Uh, the Nile. The Nile. The Nile. The Nile. I don't think no. it's the okay. Nile, so everyone, the Nile. what did you choose, Ellis? The Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> I would have accepted the Nile or Nile. Ah. Uh, yes. Yes. Three, two, one, one. Wait, no, you only have two now. No, I got three right so far. Yeah. What three was for the, three. What was the other one? What was the know. first one? There was like some weird one. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pennsylvania. So three, two, one, one. 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 Are you keeping track? I mean, no, I'm not keeping track. Who's you guys keeping guys. track? What Plus is the world's one. largest ocean? The Pacific. Pacific. Duh. Okay, Pacific, Pacific. Come on, it's not Pacific. that hard. Pacific. You got this, Mom. I guess. I guess is not an ocean. What is it? I I am actually out right now because what? there's no way I can win. Jeez. No, you get you the point win. if you win. You can if win. you okay. get it right. Pacific? Okay, the answer is it's, Pacific. It's nice actually job. specific. It's specifically Four, Pacific. Three, two, the two. specific ocean. Okay, all right, next one. What is the diameter of the Earth? Oh, uh, what? Huh? Diameter? Diameter. Like number wise? Dude, yeah, I don't, miles. I'm not going to know miles. this. Dad, uh, you should. Have you been studying flat Earth? I think it's like 2,560. Are you a dumbo? The United States okay. is over 3,000. Okay, listen, long. listen. I will also give you guys credit if you know. <laughs> I will also give you guys credit if you know the circumference. Oh, I don't know. Wait, 10,000. Who know? What does diameter mean? If I have a circle, what's the diameter? Uh, it's across. Straight. Yeah. Circumference? All, all, all the way around. All the way around. Radius? It's the whole thing. No. Radius is Radius is like the circle. Center know. to outside. You guys almost got all that right. Nice job. One for the homeschoolers, one for the homeschoolers. Okay, I will give anyone Dude. credit if they know either the circumference or the diameter. Um, a we don't know that. Amount. Can, am I None of us know Siri? this. Okay, no, no, you can't. Can ask Siri. No, can you Are you through? Your phone no, is gonna no, you gotta, cut off. You just can't get it wrong. It's eight thousand miles. I go, Wait, I was closest. I said ten thousand. So do I get? What it? is no, the I name? Don't. No, you don't. I said ten thousand. It's still no. not right. No, that's for sure wrong. <laughs> what is the name of the world's most ancient forest, and where is it located? Uh the Amazon forest. Okay, Amazon forest. The redwoods. The redwoods. Ooh, I thought you gotta be capping, mate. You right. got to be capping, mate. Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, I think the Amazon is the player. Okay, uh, all of you are incorrect. It's the Dane Tree Forest in the North Cairns of Australia. I've never heard of that. Well, what you can't win them all, guys. Which no four British no, no, cities have undergone have underground rail systems? Which four British cities have underground rail systems? London. And that's the only. British if you guys city get three of the four. If you guys get two of the four, I'll give London, you London, Manchester. Okay. And that's all I know. All I know is London. Okay. What was the question? Which four cities have underground rail systems in Britain? Oh, yeah. I'm LA. Wales. Is that your final guess? London. I'm just adding to it. London. Chipping in. Okay. So you guys need to at least guess two. I got two. I'm okay. going with Owen, London, 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 Manchester. Okay, I'm going to guess London, Manchester, and Wales. 
Yeah, I'm Me going too. with Owen's guess. Okay, the answer. No, that doesn't count. The answers I are Liverpool, Glasgow, Newcastle, and London. Oh, oh my God. I was gonna, bro. I okay. was gonna Wait, guess. What? Liverpool. Okay, okay, okay. This is a Liverpool chance. Liverpool is a place somewhere. Hold on a second. What's the score? <laughs> hey, what you hey that's Liverpool. your student. They eat a lot of liver, though. Okay, that you can't Look say at this that. Look this dog's head. He's a pool of livers. He's participating. That He's sounds a good boy. Gross. Okay, um, ugly. Are you guys? What's the score? I don't know. Four. Four. Three, two, two. I didn't okay. get three points. Yeah, you got... Yeah, no, was, we're keeping... Wait, how on earth is yeah. Owen winning? Yeah, no, we don't keep episode up. Yes, yes, dude. We do. we already, hey, we you're in charge of that. Yeah, okay. that's why uh, I What's the capital city, city of Spain? Spain. Barcelona. Barcelona. Capital city of Spain. Barcelona. Get, no, this is... Oh, he's trying to wait longer to answer. That means you trust that he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. Barcelona. Okay. Although I don't think... I guess... Madrid is the answer. Oh, <laughs> I didn't Wait, is Barcelona in yes. Spain? Yeah. Uh, which country is Prague in? I know. Oh. New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey. Germany. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Germany? Germany. Uh, no, it's not Germany. It's um. Uh, Italy. You're pretending like you know, but you're just waiting for him to answer. Italy. No, I said Italy. Italy. Prague, Italy. Okay. Uh, Prague. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's Russia. Probably no. Russia. Well, that sounds no. more Russian than Italian, that's for sure. Estevania. I'm gonna Hungary. Ask, I'm no, gonna it's definitely Russia. not Hungary. Hungary. Ask. Bro, just Hungary. Czech Republic. Oh. oh. Last question. Which British town was a forerunner of the Parks Movement and the first city in Europe to have a street tram system? I. There's no way you guys are gonna get no. this. Okay, okay next no, question. Now no, that's stupid. it. That's it. That's all. We'll no, do, no, do another one. That. No, that's do make one up in your head. I know one. What do koalas eat? Eucalyptus leaves. What? You can't compete no, that's when you know it. So, how did you just whip that out? I just knew. One second. I watched the what wild koalas eat? episode. This is where. Eucalyptus leaves. <laughs> We watched Wildcats. I watched the Wildcats episode. I'm basically a certified crap. <laughs> I literally hey, am. Come up with a question. Um, that was a question. No, how many no. states are there in the country? 51. Wait, no, it's 50. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Obama. My bad. It's 50. She's in ba- you're embarrassing her, bro. <laughs> No more questions. No more questions. <laughs> You're exposing how <laughs> poor our homeschool is. <laughs> 50 states is correct. Sorry, gets a point. No, right. he said 51. Oh, and you've changed your he answer. He immediately corrected himself. Three no, times. he corrected himself. You know why? Because oh, we all laughed no, at you. No, because I knew I said the wrong thing. No, yeah, because we laughed at you, buster. Man. You don't get to say anything. Like you've changed your answer. Like, please... So many times. No, clarify okay. that you're talking about the dog and not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Dive, we're moving on. So no. Who wins? I, Wait, so who wins? Who wins? Owen? Cave? Owen does by one smell, point. Um, Owen wins by one point. It smells just like that. No, it Owen, doesn't. Owen, did it's you win? way different. I won that round. Let's get it. Here's the two for you. So are you going to write down how many points he has all together? Yeah, you, somebody needs to keep track of it. I'm not doing so it because I think it's three. Right. All right, I will, I will keep track of it. Four, Let's three, it. two, and two. Okay, no, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm losing. Did you hear about um, the dog that, was like 10, that, that ate like 10 grams? Cast. No, he ate like $3,500. Oh. Uh, yeah, I did hear about it. If you ever eat my money, I'm going to be a little bit and not know about that. Prudence. Mercedes. He's very interested in Sawyer. this book. Okay, what was the score? What was the what was the <laughs> what was the score in the first one? What did Owen get on the first game? Nothing. Zero. Zero. I think I got zero too. And no. Prudence, what did Prudence zero, get? What did Prudence get? Me and you I got three one. on the first one. I don't three. Know what we're at this okay, what did you get on the first one? Me and Sarah both got zero. zero. Mom's the only one that got and it. No, zero. Mom got two on the first one, and she got game two. She's at what? She three? got one this round. So she's at three, and I'm at four, and they're at two. I'm at three. No, that. Yeah. Are we giving that last one, yes. Sawyer? Yeah. No, no this is total. No one else even, a, else even answered. No one else states. even answered. Okay. But you said 51. Okay. I'm you not sure about Hawaii. Yeah. You said Madagascar. Yeah. yeah. And then it's you said cool. Greenland. It's like no, running And then they let you have it. He's Trust me. You just okay. thinking you're going to get ahead? No, Marcus Brownlee does it. You're going to win every time. Marcus Brownlee does it. Buckley, what's your final verdict on this? He's going to go ahead and tell us. All right. Okay, next thing we're doing is we're going to the cards. You guys ready for the cards? Yeah, Give me the other foot. Because the, the cards. Let, let me look at them this No. Side. Give me the other foot. There. Yeah, let mom Why do, do it. Why do you need both feet? Because I want this new thing. Show Buckley. Okay, do a good job. 
Here. Hold on, I'm watching. I'm watching Buck there now. What do you mean you're watching Buck there? Watch. Everyone watch. This person is definitely. You got to talk over here, Buckley, Buckley, Buckley. There we go. We got to get him in the video. There, there's something really bizarre about what's going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> fact, I actually, actually, it's making me uncomfortable. All right, let's um, quit it, Buck. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, here's your question. Hit it, Prudence. What's your favorite way <laughs> to waste time? Oh, video games. Video games. Waste time. If you're video gonna, games, I do not like wasting time. If you're gonna, okay, okay if you're Mr. gonna, perfect. Are we actually wasting time? Okay, I That's think. The question. Okay, okay, change it to you're wasting your time hobby. if you're no, not enjoying yourself it. and you're not progressing in anything like learning or anything. So, so, or so you're saying entertainment is not wasting time? It de- it depends. Uh, I think. Hold I think entertain. No, 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 listen. I think entertainment can be a waste of time yeah. depending on your self-control with it. Yeah. Okay, Prudence, define it for us so we know what we're answering. Define the, define waste, the of waste of time. What's a waste? What do you mean by waste? Uh, Is playing video games I, a waste? I think it's... Um, probably depends on the video Oh, game. and the Magnificent. That's ridiculous. Stop that it. really it's about what you're doing with your fun time. I think that's so, really you, what it is. So basically, you're just trying to make this as complicated free time. Free time. as possible. You're telling me this thing free is put a time. camera on the dog. Well, and I have a lot of things that, that I like to do in my free time. Uh, Buckley, do you have your own camera? But we'll just go with video games right now because those are fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. very I would answer. say, um, I don't know, watching Star Trek episodes. Okay, go. What What about you, Prudence? Um. It's the second time. Yes, I like. Um, I like shopping, and I also like watching kind of like mystery shows. Yeah. So, or like. Brit shows, Box. Shows that are. Basically, Brit Box. Set in 100%. like the 1800s or something. So fantasies. Not fantasies. It's like historical, but. Uh, not, historical fantasy. No, not fantasy. It's definitely not real. Uh, go ahead. It there's a word for it. It's called non. Fiction, or no, it's called fiction. Nonfiction is real life, isn't it? It's yeah. called fiction. Because yeah, fantasy it's is its own genre. Fiction Bro. is a made-up story. They're called fantasy periodical dramas. Is a made-up story. I like. Okay, I, I like periodical. I kind of like. Okay. That. All right, 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 right. There's so Next many question. opportunities to make fun of everyone in this table, but then you know that you also have so many opportunities to be made fun of. So you just you kind of just don't do it as much. My lord, uh, okay. the lady's going to ask us What are question. the most fun rides at an amusement park? The roller coasters. Big roller coasters. Big roller coasters. <laughs> the air-conditioned tram. Back the best, the okay, is that <laughs> feeling when you go the, the drop drops, and you yeah, feel like you're drops. about to die for a second, and that's the okay. best. Sit, sit the down. best. So you like the weightless, the yeah. zero gravity, yeah, I love negative that. gravity. I love that. That's the also why I like swimming so much, is because when you're under the water, drops, the gravity is weird. I don't like swimming. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Really? <laughs> That's bonkers. Okay. What's your favorite excuse for procrastinating? Wait, you didn't ask me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's like Owen, no good excuse. Yeah, if you're gonna manage the, if you're gonna manage this you question, you missed me twice. Me. I didn't answer the wasting time question. Yeah. Well, Prudence, you gotta make sure you do this well. Don't do that. This is That's not a so time long. for fire imitation. Okay. Uh, well, what are the answers? Yeah, Owen. Owen. What's your answer? Watching YouTube. And playing video games. Okay. Watching YouTube, playing video games. And then what, what about F1? roller coasters? What do you mean F1? Like, that's not a waste hard. of time. That's investment. Yeah, that is investment <laughs> on your future. You're not getting anything done. You're, Buddy, I watch Max Verstappen, and then I learned that I can bet on him. Uh, uh, I do not bet on how to gamble wait. my money. Amusement park. <laughs> Amusement park. Best ride. I answered that one. I said Did roller coasters. Yeah, every, that is not even everyone. Really everyone yeah, are you kidding? Me? Everyone right. all answered big roller, like big roller coasters. Yeah, I know so several people that are yeah, too scared so to go on yeah. roller okay. coasters. Okay. So, okay, go. You've trained us okay. well. Hit it, Prudence. Um, so, what's your favorite excuse for procrastinating? Uh, I'm tired. I need to rest. I can do it later. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it later. Just no, exactly that sentence. I, just a minute. I. I can do it. I'll do it later. I still got 
time. I'll do it tomorrow. It'll yeah. be done. Oh, we got It'll time. It'll be done. We got time. I still that's, got that's time. I need rest. I don't like that excuse. I don't like that excuse either. I need rest? If there's I like a cop out. I rest in my soul. Okay, next. Uh, what? He's Here's definitely talking question. about someone Here's specifically. <laughs> Chill. Which comic strip character has stood the test of time? Archie. Yeah. Actually, I, yeah. I would agree with that. Batman, Spider-Man. Archie's long time. It's about time I got something right. Um, it's about all the superheroes. Wait, are we counting points for this? Not all the superheroes. No, no pretty this much. isn't a competition. Mm-hmm. This is just pure. Oh, the questions are on here, and these Thank are you. wonderful discussion. Questions. Just wonderful discussion. You can't skip them. You need to go through all of them. No, I definitely think skipping, skipping some bad topics is okay. Good. And Prudence, put them in the back when you're uh, done. I am. Okay. I'm doing that. Okay. If, Looks like you've um, gone through a lot, though. If you were given any car to cherish for the rest of your life, which would you choose? You a car? Tesla car. Ooh. Tesla. Do, can you like? Does it come with unlimited me. maintenance plan? I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely getting a Tesla, guys. No, wait a if minute. you could get get it and stick it in your garage. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. If it stays the in the garage, is, you get a super. No, the problem is, if you don't get maintenance, you don't want a Tesla for your whole life because hundred thousand miles in the batteries. All know, right. 30% let's say down. you get maintenance, Chris. Oh really? Maintenance pick for life. Your car. Tesla. Really? You get unlimited maintenance? I, mean, yeah, I would not pick a Tesla. Do you get unlimited well, fuel, too? No. Well, the thing for me about a Tesla is you don't have to pay the gas money. You, you, it's electric, so it's it's like quieter. And they're just so good. It's just such a good thing. But and you've never even sat No, but Tesla. I know all about them. But he knows all about them. My it. Lord. Yes. That's not the You right have title. to pay for the electricity. That's so cringe. Yeah, and you have to pay for the gas that goes in your car. Okay, listen. Need I say more, my friend? Let's say that it was a, like a collectible car that went up in value over time. Because I'll tell you this right now, a Tesla is not going up in value. No, no. that's just a car that you have for the rest of your Don't life. Don't electric cars take like forever to charge? <clears throat> it, I don't no. know. Okay. They take forever to charge to full. If I could get that any car gross. to that just have, it never happens. I'll get an uh a uh. <laughs> Ford Escort. Oh, just kidding. He literally just blue screen. Prius. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. Prudence, what's your answer? I I don't know. I actually don't really care that much about cars, and so I I don't even think about this. If probably some like tricked out four wheel drive something tricked. Out. You mean, yeah, okay, tripped? so we're talking about the lights on the it's underside tripped. of the car. No, that's really? not what she's talking about. Um, she's talking about lifted, big tires. I would get under Hold on. Low. Okay, big speakers in the truck bed because speakers? it's a truck. Yeah, and they go. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going that. to cyber truck. Okay, uh, what's your answer? I'm doing what you're doing because I don't know anything about cars. Yeah. So cyber truck. Uh, might be a really bad answer, by the way. But if we get unlimited maintenance and battery replacements, this, I, it's, it's safe bet. It's safe. The cyber truck is pretty good. If I was going for something to just drive, I'd pick like the cyber truck or. Tesla. You've never even how? Let, anyways, that doesn't matter. You've never but even if watched I'm a video. Picking on something just to just to have yes. to show off, I would pick like a Lamborghini because it's just I'm so sure recognizable. Yes. Lamborghini. I yeah. like how they that's look. That's like a worthless. Car. That's like, like a they wiener look. car. Wiener. Car. They're basically a wiener. <laughs> They're cool looking. Wait, what was your answer? Wiener. Wait, what was your answer? Nissan Prius? GTR. Oh, he knows the okay. model. He knows the model of every skyline. Skyline. <laughs> All right. Um, That's maybe, coming from someone with hopes okay, and dreams. Listen, no, it's I'm not. It's fire. Like a classic Camaro. It's Ooh. really no. basic, actually. Though. You mean like the Barbie from the '90s Camaro, the pink one? <laughs> no. You know what kind of car you need? Something before that. Maybe. A clown van. Clown van? Yeah. 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 Why? Because you're Wow. But what'd she say? Because your family's a bunch of clowns. <laughs> meaning Oh us, my goodness. <laughs> Disclaimer. I do you know, try to veto it. I used to, um, when they used to, in Vernonia, they used to have the parades. And the Astoria clowns would always come. You remember those guys? Yeah. And there was always this guy with this little car that, and the wheels were all off and the car would go like this when he drove. And I always wondered how, how they actually got it there. Got it there. Oh, obviously they put on a trailer, but when I was little, I used to wonder that. Uh, next card. Okay, if you want an expensive trip somewhere, what destination would you choose? The brand new cruise ship that is yeah. releasing this year that is insane on the, the the Royal Caribbean or whatever. I was going to say a cruise, too. Dude, that, really? we should all go on that ship, dude. It what is it? so cool. Is it's it like a brand. Heavy? 
Yeah. So it's going to like fall over. They would not send it out if it wasn't safe. This isn't back in the day. It's like the brand new that. cruise ship that, that that I don't even think has been on one voyage yet. That is like yeah, bro. Their biggest cruises are something on, on my. It looks on a so ship that has at fun. least been on one voyage. Well, obviously. Oh, it's been out there. Been out there. They've tested. It. Mercedes is Titanic? thinking of the Titanic over oh. here, bro. They've tested. Okay, wait. What's your answer? Oh, um, I would like to go see the Holy Lands, actually, probably. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. done That's that fire. Yet. That's Wait, fire. Hold on. Can you imagine? You know what I'd want to do? I'd want to go see the Ark. That'd be cool. <laughs> In the mountain. Sign up. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. That Mount would be Sinai. Kind of not <laughs> no, so are you talking about Noah's Ark <laughs> yeah, or the Ark of the Covenant? Uh, Noah's I mean, it'd Ark. It'd be cool, but it'd, I feel like the trip would be really Dude, expensive. imagine getting to see the real it Ark. It would be really cool to see it. I would also I would also go to the route. Wait, what, what was this? Not gonna lie, I would do the cruise over that. Yeah. <laughs> Overseeing Noah's Ark. Okay. okay. If so, it was the real wait, one, wait, bad wait. choice. Okay, according, wait, listen. According to the documentary that I watched years ago on P, uh, explorers finding the ark, we're not talking about the Ark of the Covenant. We're talking about Noah's, Noah's Ark, the big boat. Yeah. One made of gopher bark. There is like the one that took like a hundred years. Or the one that had all the animals on of the year where it's Would you be even. Quiet? I'm talking three weeks time in one year where it's sort of exposed. Sort of exposed. Do you think the Ark had yeah. it's some years? Some years. But they don't like the. Has it even been proven that that's even the? Real they thing? took a sample of the wood off of it, like a little chip of it, and took it back to a lab, and it is that. Then how come it's not more known about? Because it's in Turkey. It's, well, it's probably because it's it's something that proves that the Bible is true, and they don't want that to get out. Makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't want the whole world knowing that the Bible is true if you're the government. Listen to this. Especially in Turkey. Um, okay. Back, okay, I would definitely go on a cruise, dude. That cruise ship, dude. Looks okay, fire. but can you imagine spending hundreds, like a billion dollars, on your cruise ship and it goes out for its test drive? It's all. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like this. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. sit. They set it in the water. Yeah. And it's just like. <laughs> the first time it gets in the water. You know how many tests and mini models and simulations oh, I know. they I do? I just though? think that would be so funny. That's after cool. After it's over, after it's over in a part of history. Imagine if you so spent fun. all your money on that and you watched your whole life go down the drain. Yeah, it would literally. suck. But basically, what I'm saying is they teach is history there a and they're like, in the ocean? probably in here. We're talking really about the cruise. there probably is the cruise incident of 2024 and. It put it in the water, and they started it going out. So, and they were, and that was the end of it. Mercedes, is it Lisbon, Portugal that you guys went to? That's yeah. really cool. Yes, I would want to go there. And I'd want to go afterwards. to Buckley's. House. They could do cruise to Lisbon. Yeah, cruise to Lisbon. That's what I would want to do. Next card, hit it. Okay, what holiday decorations do you treasure? Christmas lights. You? Treasure. Christmas I love Christmas lights. lights. They make me so happy, but only during December. Colored or white? Colored. I like you white, white color. You can get away with white all year round, just as a decoration. That's yeah. true. But the colored are strictly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like the colored ones. I it like, depends like on the ones. style. Well, actually, colored lights invokes a. Uh, Child-like feelings yeah. in me. So basically, sir, so you're a little boy. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know those thingies that you put on the railing, and they go. You mean the weird little, the... like the water candles or whatever they're called? Okay, bubble lights. Ooh, bubble lights. I love, I love those lights. things. Bubble lights. You need Man. to buy more of those. I, I miss having. When I was a kid. That's why I, your dad sure. ordered me some. Well, you should order some more because they're cool. To be honest, yeah. I don't like the Christmas tree idea. Like you're it's not my favorite. You're a weird. But you're, you're, you're talking about holiday decorations you do like, not what you don't like. Yeah, Bell. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like the lights, the bubble lights. <laughs> So okay, a, you guys can't all steal my answer. No, oh, I said okay. colored ones specifically. I like and nutcrackers. I, oh, nutcrackers are good, but I like candy canes. I like candy decorations. I, some of my favorite memories were when I was littler, and mom used to, not not like bucket, singular, buckets. 
of Christmas decorations. It's not a bucket, and it's a tub. And everyone would work together the entire day. Difference. Okay, tub. Tub. Anyways. Everyone worked together the entire day to set up the house, and it just felt like a wonderful You know place. what's dope about that? What? what? The house at nighttime with all the lights off and just all the lights. Yeah. Or all the Christmas decorations. Let me ask you a question. Up. You know, they used to put candles, actual fire candles, on the Christmas tree. You think we should bring that back? Uh, no. Yeah. No. Let's try it out. That sounds so um, idiotic. Kimberly says impressive. yes. I think it's pretty sketchy. I think really? it's wonderful really? in concept, terrible in practice. <laughs> My favorite part about the decorations is the decorating. Yeah, um, nice. um, one of my favorite things is actually like the Christmas stockings. Well, it was always one of my favorite things as a kid because my grandma made all of our stockings and she made them very unique to us. And that's why I made all you guys' stockings unique. Which I appreciate. But Thank you, Mom. they're just, I don't know, they're just fun. Did your thing have big hair and shoes on it? Big hair. Yeah, it has a little princess on it. I use it still as an adult. Hey, Dad, your turn. What was the question? Uh, which holiday item is your favorite? Holiday item? Oh, well, yeah. Decoration. Do you treasure? Hey, don't look at them. The question. I do like the bubble lights too, actually. I know that's lame, but it's, he said it. You know what? Dad, are I'm you serious? Out of all the like hundreds of decorations that go on. Okay, the name house, the decorations right now. The things that go around the banister that are like the red bubble and glittery. lights. No, 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 red and glittery. The tinsel. Called, um, yeah, the tinsels. Yeah. There's the things, there's the things that go on the walls. You know the, you know the weird little, the holly red bush things? Mom puts those all over the house. You're the, that's not a decoration. The, the stocking stands that she has, those are decorations. And then the stockings, and they're all different. But all that's Christmas. And then, yeah. Yeah. You named bubble lights. A Christmas decoration. Bubble lights. And then there's the weird called. little. Okay, there's the little spinny mint things that that go on the thing. Sit down. Sit down. And then there's the candy canes. And I think we should move on. This is getting. I'm changing my good. answer. What is it? What? I what? like the little houses. The gingerbread house. No, the no, village. The I love the, the nativity scene. Oh, the cinnamon the train. Nativity the cinnamon train. Train. Remember the train? I, mean, I don't that's remember. Part of our I saw this one picture, Mom. Not oh, that. About, no, not the nativity not scene. <laughs> I like the one picture of the dude uh, that floats around on social media every year that he stuck a little Yoda figurine in the nativity scene. And the caption is, my mom still hasn't found it yet. And there's just like a Yoda chilling in Where chilling, baby Jesus is supposed to be. Jesus. I would have found it. You no, you would not have. Oh, I so would have. No. I set up the nativity scene. No, and you made I you never look it. at it again. I check it. Mom, you make me day. set it up. One of these years, I'm going to get like a DJ, a little DJ table, and I'm going to stick Joseph in there. Dad is over here. Dad's dead. And he'd have a set of headphones on, and he'd be like DJ in. Here, Mary, here's the music. I'm going to get like a sheep that's like flossing. Sean the sheep. Yeah, we'll just get Sean the sheep in there. Okay, what bothers you most about politics right now? Uh, Not... Uh, Sometimes you just feel like they they don't make any sense. And you feel like the obvious decision isn't made, and you're just like, why? How do you know you know what the obvious decision is? Well, it's the I, obvious one. It's it's the obvious one. Yeah, but how do you know you're right? Well, you have to look into it. But on a base level, there's usually an obvious solution. Well, there's not always usually. At the base level. But if it was that, if it was that simple, don't you think there would be more people with the obvious decision? There is. They just. Is your is your title devil's advocate? It's kind of yeah. hard to like. No, explain. it's magnificent, boss. <laughs> Mercedes, what do you think? <laughs> Move to her. Pass. She's old. Pass. Oh no no no. What do you... Don't get mom started. Bro. What do you... Okay, move to Owen. What bothers you most about politics right now? Mercedes, that's the question. What bothers you most about I politics right now? I know what the question is. I don't have enough knowledge about politics to make a structured argument. Um, I wish 
more people were mature enough to make that same statement. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's even they Instead go to the of, booth. No, Sawyer's, <laughs> Sawyer's just fairly well educated. I think Sawyer's more educated than the average adult in America today. Yeah. I, okay, just so you know, guys, that is really embarrassing. You got work on that. You probably <laughs> look like a. You probably look <laughs> I like just a. Had to get that no, you look good. Chest. You look good. The little Why fish lens. Glitching? Uh, go ahead, Prudence. What bothers me most? Yeah. Um, is how difficult it is to trust the information. Oh no, kidding! That's a hundred. That's like it's a cheer. I agree with you on that. That's a hundred percent a problem. There's absolutely no way to definitively trust anything you hear. Mm -hmm. And yet somehow you have to trust. You have to trust something that isn't trustworthy. Okay, I don't know what's happening over there. Foot fight! Foot fight! But everything about it is not okay. Um, (laughs) Okay, what about you, Owen? The Magnificent? What What bothers you about politics? uh, What my mommy said. Which was what? (laughs) What she just said. What my mommy said. (laughs) (laughs) oh it's over here like querying me like how do you do this and then it comes to him what my mommy said (laughs) (laughs) absolutely roll well she said it absolutely roll you can come up with something else Um, besides that i feel like it's uh really high stakes like it doesn't seem like um, it's just a simple, like, debate anymore. It's a bigger deal. It's more people. like the country succeeds or it fails completely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wish I could I'm, think that's yeah my biggest problem with it currently. But also what she said. I wish I didn't have to feel worried that our country is going in a bad direction because of our politics. You know? Like, I wish I could just, like, yeah, these guys got it. But it's not like that. No. It's like, these guys got it, right? <laughs> no, it's, you know? these guys don't. Uh, like, I do feel like it should be no matter what party wins, yeah. you should be able to trust that they have the best intentions. Yeah. What do you think, Prudence? Do they have the best intentions? What I'm percentage? Not, what percentage I of think, the people in power I have feel, the good intentions? I feel like, politically, the people in power seem to be very disconnected from the people themselves. Like, there's a like a a layer of um, people buffer. that are in control. There's a, a control buffer. And there's reasons why they vote a certain way or they make laws or something like it. It's not that they're there for us. Yeah. It's like they don't even understand. Totally. What we're, how we, the normal person lives and needs to thrive, but we need to thrive. Yeah. They're, they're hold, hold up in some Congress building or wherever it is that they meet, you know, and they just concerned about their, their own selves and how they're going to get reelected or how they're, you know, going to get a paycheck or bribe or something over here. It feels like they're just not in touch with reality. I would say that's probably 100% dead on. So, uh, so, so you said 100%. That was probably 100%. <laughs> At least you didn't say probably 100 million percent. Or like add a weird name. Okay, so then I have another question on here. So who came up with these questions? You did, Mercedes? Um, I came up with one. Prudence, did, uh, um, Prudence and Mercedes. One, no. uh, what do you guys think about the upcoming election? Oh, it's, I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna it's be so much. funny. Like show with all the yeah, popcorn. I think so. I said Regal needs to put it in their th- movie theater. Yeah, yeah. popcorn movies. I, I'm with big him. screen party at the house. Well, I just hope together. that Joe Biden and Trump get to a debate. Dude, together. I have, would love that. You guys have watched the last four years, and the four years that Trump was even in office. You mean the last three years? Yeah. Um, Four years of Trump. That's and loud. how Sorry, that's loud. much they have tried to stall out Trump and just bind him up, put chains on him, try to get him convicted of something. Like, what is, what do you think America is actually feeling? It, are they like, in, are they agreeing with this agenda to shut him down? 
What do you feel? I think that greatly depends on what they intake because news will can twist things in a way where it seems like a good, what would be a good thing is really a bad thing to the untrained eye. So let me make sure I understand what you're saying. You're saying the answer to that question depends greatly on media they're consuming. Yeah. Just so you guys know, you're we're on 360 camera. Yeah, so when I'm looking this way, looking at Chris, when I look this way, looking at Prudence. Oh, so anyways, so is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think, think you're, that, you're right. So It's so, hard to find someone that doesn't have a biased opinion. So that leads me to this other question that Prudence put in here, which is what do you do to stay informed or do you stay informed? How do you stay informed with real info? Well, I personally think it's a good idea to listen to multiple resources or read multiple resources, people of both sides. And then you can kind of combine the two and get kind of a mesh of something that may be more accurate. What do you do, Mercedes? You stay informed? Not. Bro, she's 14 really? years old. I mean, she's more informed than most people. She's still 14 years old. Well, what do you do? Oh, in the Magnificent? Um, not as much as I should. <laughs> Straight up. I think that's the hardest, one of the hardest things. It's like what she was saying. It's like, who do you even trust? Tucker Carlson? Like, can you even trust that he's 100% accurate? Probably not. Oh, I, yeah, I don't think you can trust anybody. So it's 100%. like... I don't think you can trust anybody. Well, that's 100%. what I'm saying. It's yeah, like, it's, I don't... It's just like 100%. But, I mean, it's just in taking information. You have to be discerning about what you're deciding is true. Right. Yeah. I don't think most people do that. I don't think... I think people... What I've witnessed, what I've watched is people like to find things that already tell them what they already think. It's just affirmation. There's no one confirmation to be told that they're wrong. And let's Especially not let's people. point out the fact that it takes a lot of effort and work to actually understand and try to understand what's going on politically. Yeah, totally. It takes energy to do it. So, how well do you think your generation is doing in this do you, so far? <laughs> embarrassingly horrible. Do you guys think yeah. that? Um, <laughs> do you guys think that there's an obligation to to learn this stuff? There should be. Um, I don't think that there like, is. Like you, like, like do you think that we we really have a responsibility to? I think we have an ex a responsibility to a degree. I I don't know because I don't feel like everyone should make it a major part of their life. I, I think there's certain people that are called to it, but I do think, I do believe that people should vote. And I feel like you should be informed enough to do that, knowing you're, what you're doing. Do you think we should have just, like a little test or something before people can vote? No, because then I feel like you're getting into like, yeah, requirement, like yeah. control type thing. I, and I feel like we need yeah. to keep it free. But Do they need like, to be citizens? Yeah. Prove citizenship? Bro, yes. what are you even asking I, here? Of course. I think it, it makes sense for American <laughs> citizens to be the only ones that you could You definitely vote have to be a citizen. For an Ameri the president of America. I think that there should be, everyone should feel an obligation to learn at least loosely what's happening in your country. And maybe some basic understanding of the interactions and the relationships with other countries. So, like, at least a basic level, so you kind of know, well, this country hates us, this country, well, they kind of like us, but not really. This country's pretending to like us, but they hate us. And you think that should be required? No, no. I think you should have, you should come out of school with kind of a feeling of wanting to stay informed. So you're well, saying, you're saying we should happening. be a good global citizen? Yeah. Because as it is now, it's like, well, why should I care? You should care. Why should you care? Yeah, that but, is a well, question. Why, I care? why? Yeah, beats me, bro. <laughs> like I, I care because I care about what's going on in my country and wanting to be informed. But I don't think there's everyone's like that. So that's for sure true. No, I think people, people get super wrapped up in their day to day. Most people care about Grey's Anatomy, and not. Uh, Does anybody even watch that show anymore? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Wait, is it? There is seriously like 19 seasons. There is like 20 seasons. 
I don't know if they're still going. Are they still going? Let's look it up. Yeah. I think they are. Mm-hmm. How many seasons? There's, uh, there's got to be 19 or 20. Anatomy. Does anybody know what I've, Grey's Anatomy is based on? Like, what is Grey's Anatomy? Not the TV show. It's a book. It's a big book that all the doctors read. Really? Yeah, by somebody named Grey. It's an anatomy book. The only thing I know seasons. about it is my ex used to watch it. Your ex? Your ex-wife? Yep. As of February 13th, 2023, the show has been picked. Okay, listen, listen, listen. As of February 13th, 2023, the show has been picked up for a 20th season. Grey's Anatomy has two spinoff series, Private Practice and The Station. You know what I think about that? They need to kill it. Kill it. So, it, with it, it, it needs to just it end. Let so it then whose up. responsibility is it to be uh, informed of politics? It should be the country. I I really feel like everybody. Any specific generation? All. Yeah. All. Like, because here's the thing. In theory, the older people have experience, have seen a lot, so they are going to be well informed on what happens when you make certain kinds of decisions. And younger people are going to be running things eventually. So literally, everyone has responsibility. Mm-hmm. That's what I think, and I'm right. I'm 100 right. Here's the cheers. Yay! You can't just give yourself cheers. I just did. No. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> My lord? Yeah. It's lordship. Lordship, sir? Yeah. What's your answer? Uh, what? You didn't know? You weren't even listening? No, uh, I, was. I wasn't listening. Um, I wasn't um, well, yeah, we got distracted with Grey's question. Anatomy. Uh, <laughs> longest running TV show. I just need to look it up now. I think it's The Simpsons. Longest running TV show is... Who wants to know? Okay, do Just one the, the longest running TV show that isn't a cartoon. Okay, what is it? I don't know. We don't. Yes, Gunsmoke. Don't. 1955 to 1975. No, no. No, that's no, currently still going. Oh, uh, well, it's got to be Grey's Anatomy. I guess not Star Trek. Well, Star Trek as a whole is what I was thinking. It's got to be Grey's. Are we now we're on a first name basis. <laughs> Grey's. No, it's G. It's got to be G. And no, I guarantee you, no one in their right mind has ever called Grey's Anatomy G. I just did, and I'm in my You're right mind. You're not in okay. your right mind. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> turning to the topic. Back on target. Bro, what wrap exactly? it up, cause. Okay. Wrap it up. Wrap up the wrap up the topic. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom. Wrap Do up it. The topic. Yeah, the topic. Okay. No, not a card. The topic that we're on. Yeah. Who whose responsibility is it important? How do you stay informed with politics? What's bothering you? Like yeah, well, well. political discussion that we've been having. Let's put a bow on that sucker. Yeah. Whose responsibility is it? I think that the country, as a citizen of the country, you should have some obligation. Not like a forced obligation, just like yeah. a kind of man. I should be doing this. Ah, uh, so, yeah. So what you're saying is that to, every single citizen should have a responsible. Yeah, uh, definitely like, basic. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think advanced. Like and think, some are called to politics. Yeah. What should be able to happen is everyone in the country should understand we're not on good terms with this other country. Just like something generic. Like you don't yeah. need. To know, well, this is happening right now. There's a war over there. That war might happen. And we're losing troops in this area. So you think it's more important for people to know what's going on globally? Globally than in our own country. I think it's the opposite. No, no. no. I'm saying in addition to the basics. I'm saying in addition to the base. Knowing what's happening you in should, your country, you should know what's you happening. You should know a little bit about what's happening in the world. Yeah, yeah, because what's happening, what's happening from your country with the world, not necessarily the world. Right. So, you know that, well, this is our position as a country. And then these guys over here, these guys over here, just kind of like knowing. So what I hear you saying, sorry, let me see if I can wrap this up. Your Lordship. So what you're saying is, is that because the world has gotten small and global and we're hyper connected now, it's important to be a good global citizen as a country. And we can't do that unless we have some if we're informed to some degree as citizens inside of our country. Yeah. Well, I think that's valid. I think, Owen, the magnificent, to your point, I think that uh, it's most important happening in your own country so you can be a good citizen there first. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Mercedes? Duchess? The Duchess Mercedes? I agree that you should. 
know what's going on in your own place and know a little bit about what's going on around your place. Totally. Prudence, final yeah. thoughts? Agreed. Agreed. And everyone, every single generation has responsibility. You know what isn't productive? But those responsibilities are different. <clears throat> totally. They are totally. Yep. And they change as you get older. You know what's not productive? Mm. Is the older people complaining about how the younger people don't care and the younger people complaining how the old people messed everything up. Or how the old people are dirtbags. Or how the old people are dirtbags. Which, to be fair, a lot of them are. That's not helpful. That's literally not helpful. I'm um, just he kidding. He just dropped around. a straight fact, though. Straight fact. <laughs> it wasn't even like a half fact. I didn't say it all. Half fact, but it was, a, was it a cat fact? I didn't say all. I said... What did I say? Um, it's hard to, it's hard did to I know. say a lot? I said... Um, you didn't use a percentage point. Huh? I said, said a lot. You said a lot of them. A lot of them are, though. Yeah. Which is true. You're I'm capping really over here. All right. Speaking of capping over here, uh, let's wrap this up with a couple of lessons from the Gen Z handbook. No, 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 no. Dude. Don't be so aggressive by striking Chill, that thing, woman. my man. Okay. Pardon. My lordship. Did you say... Pardon? I did say that. <laughs> Pardon me? I did Thanks, say that. Mom. Except for yours was significantly... Prudence, make sure you don't pick anything <laughs> with foul language or anything. So. Okay. okay. Some of these I Can don't even know. tell me what a slow fade means? Slow <laughs> I fade. have... Wait, no. let me look at no, this. No, you don't know. I actually don't, don't know. know. I don't okay, know. Let me tell you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. No, 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 no. That's, no, no. no that's, that's like when you um, exit out quickly or slowly. It's like when you feel like your relationship is dying. Oh, that makes Instead sense. Instead of ghosting the other person, you decide to slow fade. That makes the sense. Relationship. <laughs> Don't reducing contact it. slowly, being less. <laughs> oh, yeah, I totally, oh, I, don't, I, totally I totally know that. I totally know that. Do another one. What did you do? Oh, a lot of people. Okay. Are you slow fading Same. people over here? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. No, that makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Oh, not that it's a healthy thing. I recommend thing to you do. don't like, skip around. Not just that it's like a healthy thing. No. I have no kinds of that. I've never had a, a, fl- a, a relationship like that. Whoa. Yes, you have. All right. That doesn't count. It's the same thing. How about same. um the word wig? How do you guys use the term wig? Like wigging You're out? Wigging out, mom. Okay, wig, neither of them. Yours count. got blown off your head when you were exposed to something that was so sheerly awesome that there were no words left in the dictionary. To define the level of awesomeness other than the expression for fake hair. Yeah, I've never heard that yeah. one before. Yeah, yeah, one. yeah. Oh, Maybe it's because I'm white. Out. Do another one. White has nothing to do with it. I mean, it kind of does. Yeah. So I mean, there's black well, Gen Z language. Well, there's, there's white like. Gen Z language. There's, I mean, that's probably I, true. I wish we had the cards because this is a lot of like story. About how just start from the terms. beginning. Yeah, there's, maybe you should read some because the way you guys words, use some of these words is embarrassing. It's that. really embarrassing. Like sometimes yeah. dad will just. Do you realize I'm doing okay. that on purpose? He'll fire no, off like we he'll know. fire off like a okay. couple rounds. All right, go ahead. Last one. Last one. None of the sentence makes any sense. I just kind of want to crawl in a hole and just. How about this? Just for like the rest of my life. And I oop. The rest. Oh, and I oop. And I oop. And I oop. <laughs> I haven't heard that one in like three years. Okay. So basically it's an expression you use when you're witness to something that catches you off guard <laughs> or catches your attention. Yeah, DK, do one more. I was like the last time one. I said that. Last one. <laughs> last one. For sure last one. Bro, have you seen how detailed the toes on these are? Yeah, they're fantastic. Keep going. Someone went with a knife and carved each hair. Bro. It is a nerf hole. I don't know, but that sounds like you shouldn't describe it. You probably shouldn't say it. Now. I, I'm going to have to take that over I because... Don't, I don't... Yeah, I made Okay, give me it. Because... Yeah, give it... On the Magnificent, hit it off. <laughs> and then who's going to end this thing? You. you. No, you guys criticized me severely last time. So I'm All right, sure drag. Do. Dude, if you do that every episode, drag. I'm going to get irritated. Like I knew you were gonna look at me like I'm saying something that's I don't inappropriate. Know what drag this is means. a drag. This is boring. Mm, this is I don't know, but that's close. I don't. I don't know what this. One I means. don't. I don't know. I'm ashamed. You guys are all uncultured. Like yeah, I'm like what is an uncultured it? Z. A drag is a roast. A roast. It's a confrontational. Bro, thing. I just dragged you yeah. across the floor. 
It means to make fun of something, to criticize something, or to tear something to shreds with your words. Shreds with your words. Uh, she was dragging me so hard today for wearing those apple bottom jeans and boots with, with the, the fur. fur. I mean, <laughs> I just wanted to bring back the late 2000s, man. What's so wrong with that? I just want to go back to the good old days. Except for they're gone. Anyways. <laughs> and whoever, and whoem, who, whoem? whomever was dragging you for sporting okay. apple bottom jeans and boots, boots with, with the, the fur. fur. Defense, <laughs> if you're trying to bring back something in style, why something from the early 2000s? There's so many better eras to get inspiration from. No cap. That's no the cap. truth. That is the truth. Yeah, no cap. All right, one more. No, not one I'm more. I'm just kidding. We got to save some. You got to save some for the podcast. We're an hour in. All right, wrap it up, sir. Land the plane. <laughs> you're definitely the best at this, by the way. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Here. Two? I like how this is like a legit guy. Like some old person that's genuinely confused would buy this and actually like study it. Real quick, before you land the plane, when you say old person, okay. how old is that? Like 25. Hey. You no, are I'm just absolute. Absolute. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle but, Carlos. Frankly, I would think Wait, how, I'm just kidding. Your what? generation should feel honored that older generations want to know how to talk to Except you. Except 95% of them don't. Actually, more than that. Okay, 99. anyways. We just talked about old, how we're not a I mean, each old other. like 60. So you mean Which, like, you know, is debatable. So not quite. But old, I think old is less. <laughs> like, old is less of your age and more of your mindset. Okay. That is. Where's the cheer? Hit it. That gets a tear. Nice job, on. Okay, land the plane, sorry, land the plane. We definitely need to land it. We've got to land it. What's the call again? All right. We're out of fuel. You forgot the name. <laughs> no, I didn't forget the name. Can you please go to Four Eyes? Thank you for joining us on the Save It For The Podcast podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you later. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is what he gets.